Hello boys and girls. This is my own personal Shindaiwa 600SX. Uh, I sold my original Dire Wolf so that I could purchase this. Because, you know, I like Shindaiwa better. Uh, it's red, it's pretty, it's called Shindaiwa. I like it. That's it. Uh, I have just finally finished the first build of it. I may keep it like this forever, or I might do something different and uh, later on down the line, switch some stuff out. I am not gonna tell you what I did to it because if it runs great, um, I, in the future, am planning on having a, uh, um, a shootout with the 590-620, the same way I'm doing with the Husqvarna 55 shootout. And uh, in which case I might enter this and I don't want everybody to know my secrets, but I will say it is very different from other ones that I have built. I've done top secret stuff to this. <laughs> and this is the very first startup and let's see if it goes kaplow. Uh, I have a, a, a tack set up on here the way that Super Dave does. He uh, sent me a link to all it is is a phone mount. Um, boy, that, I need to tighten that up, don't I? All it is is a phone mount, uh, and uh, I got my tack in there. The tack that I use is a PET 304. All right, so let's see if this thing starts up. I'll have to tune it and everything. I haven't done anything. All right, I was having a hard time adjusting with the idle. It's gonna be fresh engine or fresh piston and rings, everything. Uh, and, and the saw itself is fresh, but you know, I did change some things up on the inside. So just fired it up, let it cool off for a second, right? And we'll see what we can get out of these saws, you know? I have my other, uh, the 590 that I just recently built, that's got a 97 degree exhaust roof. Um, that thing runs very well, and uh, I'm really happy with it and everything, but that's gonna be my real test mule. So anything really crazy, I'm gonna be doing to that, and if I like it, I'll do it to this. And um, so, but even though I say I got some secrets in this, that I don't want to divulge. It's nothing crazy, okay? Um, like it is a known thing that people put the uh, MS460 top end on this. You can do that. And I have plans of doing that to my other saw. And if I like it, I'll do it to this one, that kind of thing. But uh, honestly, from my experience, these things run so good for what they are. I don't know if I want to do that to this saw because this will be the one that I keep and you know always have and it's, it'll be my user. I'll use it and enjoy it and have it. But anyways, so now that's enough. I'm going to fire it back up, maybe do a little bit more tuning and then actually do some real cuts and see what it's got. <laughs>
Dagwood. Watch out, Louie.
All right, that's pretty good. So where's it cutting at? Uh, whenever really solid bogging, right? We was in the high nines, like nine eight. Uh, but for most of the time, whenever I was trying to get my feel the way that I do it, and I know what to look for and everything, um, in the easier spots, it was just over 11,000, so like 11.2. And then in the real good meat of the cut, whenever I'm doing my, I, I do apply the right pressure to get it to actually eat. It's not just sitting there in the wood and just spinning. Okay, so this is useless to everybody except for me because I know the balance that I'm putting on the saw. And in a good, balanced, downward cut, right, not dogging it in, not shoving it in, and definitely not sitting there and just letting it slow eat away, right? In a good, balanced, downward cut, I was getting about 12, 8, I'm sorry, 10, 8, 10, 9. 10,800, 10,900, and it bounced back and forth, you know, but um, that's a 22 inch bar on there. It's a C83 that I have sharpened. So we, what we know about that is, is that it, it is not gonna be as fast as an out of the box C83, even though it's cutting great. You know, I, I, like I said, my hand filing has got pretty darn good and, um, and it's running sweet. I'm happy with the saw. As I work it and as it breaks in, the idle, I'll get that dialed in just right. As it is right now, it kind of doesn't want to idle perfectly, you know? Uh, it's either idling a little bit too high and it's kind of like a paint shaker, <laughs> or it's a little bit too low. But, uh, you know, it's completely fresh. And uh, you've saw all that I've ran it since I built it. Am I happy with it? very happy. Am I thinking it's going to win any races? No. Which is kind of disappointing because I, I did some different stuff to it. And uh, I mean, this is the first run, so I can't be too hard on it. And you never truly know until you compare it directly to something else with the exact same bar and chain. So, but does it run good? Absolutely. Do I like it? Absolutely. Let's put it in the pine one more time just because. See that idle? About 10.7, which is surprising because it was a, I was seeing low 11s over there. <laughs> so anyways, that's enough for this video. The Shindaiwa 600SX. Isn't it a thing of beauty? Absolutely. Love it. <laughs>